My name is Dr. Brian Cahan, and today I'm going to demonstrate a cervical transforaminal epidural steroid injection utilizing stick it to me, a biodegradable interventional spinal training model. At the current time, we have our cervical version, and we're going to utilize it to demonstrate a cervical transforaminal epidural steroid injection. Under fluoroscopic guidance, I will line up so that the cervical spine is midline. I will make it so that my spinous processes are also midline and that ver vertebral body end plates are lined up parallel. Once I have everything lined up under a PA view, I will then oblique it. So we're going to be doing the left side. So I will oblique it towards the left so that I have a nice view of the neuroforamen. As I get into that neuroframe, I will adjust it so that my end plates are parallel to each other. Then we'll try to maximize the neuroframe, which we have here. And my end game will be to go into the posterior inferior aspect of the neuroforamen. The reason that is, is because the vertebral body, run vertebral artery, runs along the posterior aspect of the vertebral body in the anterior aspect of the neuroforamen. So that's your safe zone. I'll subsequently insert my needle. Angle it so that the hub is over the needle tip. The most important thing is starting with the correct angle. This will save you lots of time and effort in advancing the needle. Once you have that correct angle, aiming at the posterior inferior neuroforamen, you then can advance your needle. I like having my hub slightly more medial to my endpoint because I know that as I advance it, the needle is going to curve and the hub is going to go more lateral. This keeps me, in my experience, more in the posterior aspect of the neuroforamen. As you can see, the needle is starting to curve into that posterior aspect. In addition to that, I try to contact the bone that's underneath me so that I know that I'm in my safe zone. Once I get to a comfortable depth, I will then confirm how far medial I have moved under a PA view. You can see we're still pretty far out there. But it's better to be safe. Now we will work our way so that the needle goes slightly more medial and continues into the posterior aspect of that neuroforamen, posterior inferior. We'll continue to advance it. As you can see, I'm staying on a straight line. And now I will check again my depth. Okay, and right now we're sitting right outside the neuroforamen. With this view, I will rotate my needle so that it goes slightly more cephalad and advance inside the neuroforamen. At this point, I would sit there and inject my dye. And as you can see in our oblique view, we've remained in the posterior neuro, posterior inferior aspect of the neuroforamen. And that would complete your transferon.